Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and RAID is not a backup, but it does provide resiliency, and my favorite way to manage that resiliency is with TrueNAS. But which version? TrueNAS Core or TrueNAS Scale? Well, that's what we're going to be covering today. I talk a lot about storage, and we consult a lot with storage systems, and this question comes up from our customers, comes up from people who watch us on YouTube, and if you'd also be someone on YouTube who wants to become our customer, click on that Hire Us button over on our website at lawrencesystems.com. What I'm going to cover here today is the comparison table I made to give you the knowledge you need to make the decision based on these two different NAS softwares by IAC Systems. Now, I have all the details in there in terms of the comparison, but it'll other people will be asking about the performance. You'll find a video linked down below, also in the description, in the forums as well, all about performance. And now I did that in February of 2023. The next version is going to be coming out and I'll just amend the performance numbers to the next version comparing the two. But seeing as the two are still on essentially the same base version, I didn't do anything updated because there's only been minor updates in terms of the performance. And the performance now here in 2023 is pretty comparable between the two of them. Matter of fact, some things are done better on each one, but not by much. It's kind of small percentages but that's why I did that whole breakdown and comparison chart. So if you're just here for the performance, you can find that link down below. And if you're ready to go look at the chart, let's go take a look at it so we can compare the functional differences between these because that's not changing with the new updates. All right, we're going to start here at the top with the operating system, but there's one more thing I want to mention because I couldn't figure out how to get it into the table. And that's that just a yes, that it's still being supported. I guess I could have just put yes, but how it's supported is a little bit different compared to the way scale is. Scale is under very active development. So there's a lot of new features coming and a lot of tweaking to solve little quirkiness that we've been finding. And it's gotten so much better since I first started looking at scale, the development has become much more stable, but of course there's still a lot more development going. So there's large version releases that are still coming out. There's still version updates for core. They're just not packing in new features. They're bumping different software in there, fine tuning things. Core is still very stable and very predictable. And one of the reasons we still like it quite a bit, and I still run several production core systems because I don't need some of the other features that scale has. So core works perfectly fine for me. So either one is good in terms of support. And the other note is, and I have a video on this topic, the tuning of the arc cache does not have to be done in BSD, but I have a video I released recently on tuning arc cache inside of Linux because by default, it only uses half of the memory. So that is something you kind of have to manually adjust. But they're both open source and they're both free. This was some confusion when they first released scale as if it was something different. They do offer, they as in IX Systems, who is the behind both of these projects, they do offer a enterprise license with support and agreements. But outside of that, if you don't need those, these are both completely free for you to use. Containerization. This is where the huge difference is. And if you migrate from core to scale or either way, this is not something you can take with you. The containers that you built in core were built on IO cage and FreeBSD and everything over in scale is a custom because I can't just call it Docker and I can't just call it Kubernetes. It's custom Docker and Kubernetes managed via their UI. So the containerization is not compatible. So if you move data around between these, they can't move the containers between them because they're completely different. Same goes for the virtualization. We have FreeBSD Beehive and KVM. I have a tutorial on how to set up KVM and use virtualization inside of TrueNAS Scale. I never liked Beehive that much. Sorry, FreeBSD folks. Uh, so I never really did much with Beehive, but it's, uh, it's available in TrueNAS Core. Central management, true command. You can use true commands simultaneously to manage all of your core and scale systems. I've not done a video on that, but it's a pretty neat product that allows you to tie together all of your systems. Now this is sold and licensed from IX systems. So it's not just a free open source project, but they do have a starter edition based on how many drives you have that you can use for free. High availability. This is a confusing topic sometimes because people see that it's supported but it is very specific to IX systems hardware. Check out my videos on like the M50 unit. I've done videos a while ago on these where they have dual controllers that talk to all the drives at once. This is a very intricate setup because there's two complete motherboards talking to a single set of drives that allows for a complete motherboard failure, not just power supply or something, but a total failure of the motherboard and the system completely stays up and running. We sell quite a few of these in the enterprise space when you have a system that is mission critical that just can't stop. But clustering and scale out, that is a no on the core system. 
it is still experimental and I've left links here and it's managed via true command is what their goal is with this. So they're using Gluster for scale out and they have some other scale things they've been working on, but it is all experimental right now. It is not for production use. And this is a link to their documentation. It still notes this is not for production use because that's what people ask a lot about, but it's also not in the UI, it's managed via true command. So you need true command. And at some point, I believe you'll need some licenses for certain features in true command. And you would tie these systems together via true command. And then that's where you would manage the cluster and scale out functionality of it. Now, as I mentioned, they're still updating things. So the ZFS versions, if you're running the latest as of August of 23, for both of these is ZFS 2.1.11. They're both the same. They both have snapshots, encryption, Replication. Matter of fact, the replication, because they're running the same versions as ZFS, you can do replication from core to scale or from scale to core in any combination that you want. Matter of fact, I'm running systems doing this. There's really no issues there. Your sharing options are the same. There's some features being deprecated, though, in TrueNAS scale. I don't know, but I imagine they will be eventually deprecated in core going out, but that's the rsync and S3. They want you to use S3 specifically as one of the applications if you're going to use that. And rsync, they're just removing the modules, but they're leaving it in the underlying. So that may or may not affect your decision on this, but it's there today, but gone in upcoming versions. So if you were to build something that has a requirement for that, then something to take into mind here and think about. Active Directory support, they both have it. And finally, down here, I will mention that the speed tests I did were on February 15th of 2023. And as I mentioned in the beginning, those performance numbers are pretty close between the two different operating systems. It's probably not the most compelling reason to choose either one of them. Now, this is obviously different from when scale was first released. It didn't perform very well, but here in 2023, they're really close in performance. But when there is a new major version release, I will do an updated video. Now, the real question is, are you team TrueNAS Core or TrueNAS Scale? Leave that in the comments down below. And if it's neither and you have another suggestion, leave that down there too. If you want to see more content from the channel, like and subscribe. If you want to connect with me over in the forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com, where I made this comparison table. And also, if you want to connect with me on the socials, head over to lawrencesystems.com and whatever socials I'm connected to, you will find linked over there and take care.